This is where they be hiding. So if I drive along these tracks, uh, with the rock picker turned on, because for some reason the button is incredibly uh, temperamental, might be time for a new uh, doodad. Farm sim button thing. Turn around here. You could see. And go pick those up. And that is rocks on this field done. So fold that up. Uh, 75 litres for what it's worth. I'm just going to take this over to the other field. <coughs> and yes, you can use a tractor with big tyres to kill weeds. Actually, these are normal size tyres with weights on because it's front loader tractor, dude. Can get this started. I'll finish off the lime, which is going to entail another trip down to the lime um, tank. So we'll be driving around a bit. I think store refresh time is about two o'clock in the afternoon. I might be wrong. But, uh, it might be time to check on store sales soon. Okay, well, we've definitely got a nice expanding farm. As I said, I wasn't really intending to sell the bales when I did. And frankly, I could have made possibly another 20, 30, maybe 40,000 if I had been able to sell them when I wanted to. But I didn't, so it didn't. So I got the money I got. What I got. Okay. Let's get this in here. It looks. Oh, this field is just plainly horrible so uh, get this unfolded and uh, put that there and hello turn the work on no field found what do you mean no field found there is a field right here with rocks um okay the rock picker is lowered, it is turned on. This is strange. I can't even pick these rocks up. What the heck? Okay. I own this field. This field is mine. Hi. Hi. What's going on? Nothing. Oh, okay. Watching TV. Watching TV. What's going on? Watching TV. Oh, well, what's happening? Watching TV. Oh, okay. And for some reason I'm hungry. Oh, are you going to have your snack? Yes. Okay then. When is it going to be lunch time? About another hour. <sighs> and 
And still, no field found. This is... This is weird. Okay. I'm going to send the rock picker back then, because there's no point keeping it. Um, I am probably going to have to do something very strange with this plot of ground. Um, don't just know. Is going on here so that will I wonder if I'm gonna have to get a plow and actually plow this field into existence and maybe I'll do that I don't really want to use easy development tools to uh, make this a field because it might erase the farm track and all sorts of weird stuff. So I'm going to go back. I'm going to hitch up the small tipper and see if I can do the uh, sucker thing off the ground into a cart. So we did lose 75 litres of uh, stones but quite frankly they're just not worth the money. So if I get a plow, I can do, I can do, I could do the plowing. Oh, I have to do it manually. Oh, that is such a pain. Well, it is what it is. Let's bring this guy in here. Because it probably means that not only, oops, can I not rock pick on that area, I also can't, um, although we did pay for, We did pay for soil analysis on this field. So we got all the soil analysis done. It just won't work with a worker. And the field has nothing. It, it, it doesn't register as anything in it. Concerning this one doesn't either, although that's weeds and stones. This one registers as ploughed. It looks ploughed. This one doesn't register as harvested, it doesn't register as cultivated or anything. This one registers as partly harvested and partly cultivated. So I would accept to see one of these two colours in field 64. I don't. Now, the other way around it is to select oilseed radish, grass, poplar, olives, grapes. So that's all of the crop types and this field is still registering as not used. 97 is registering as not used. 102 is registering as not used. But you can see if we go back here, these are all grass fields. These just don't have any crop in. But if we go and look at them, they've been cultivated. They don't have any crop in. So that's, that's a true statement. But this field appears to be bugged which is a little bit annoying because we just paid for it. So what I'm going to do is, um, off camera, is I'm going to plough this to turn it into a field. And that then should um, register as ploughed, like these other fields along here. And then I can start liming it and what have you. At the same time, since I'm ploughing it, um, I may just uh, use the easy development toolkits to just pull the rocks off the field because they're broken. But still, at least we got those rocks all dealt with. We've got these rocks here. do is I'll see if driving alongside a pile of rocks and pressing R transfers them. No it doesn't. Okay. So push that back again. Oops. 
just wasting time here. So we'll drop that. And I will run over here. We need, what do we need? Front loader arms. And reselect the tractor, lift the arms up. We'll have to do this from the outside. Oh, try not to uh, break stuff. There we go. One rock picking shovel. And I will finish off the liming and then we'll worry about this pile of rocks. Okay, let's go find the vent. Hello. And turn, oh, turn the engine on, turn the blue marker on, and off we go. Good. And since I own the fields to the right of that hedge, I don't want to be spraying lime on a growing crop. So we'll do this properly. How's the money? 102. So we're still not too bad on the money front. Drive and spread. There's going to be a tiny bit of lime missing here, which we're going to have to go back and um, refill. So, of course, that raises the whole issue of, well, do I just buy the land with the trees and chop the trees down and then plough that while I'm here. No. That would be a good answer. I will follow those tracks through the trees. Because why not? But yeah, if I bought this, like, I mean, the problem, part of the thing is, is I could then extend this field out to that hedge land. The problem is, is there's a beehive in the middle of where I want to uh, extend it. So that's a little bit awkward. But still, it's... Oh, and I was saying, so this field on the left here has what appears to be very bad um, dirt. We could just plant that with grass and use it as another grass income making field. Because we got the grass kit. The grass kit's easy. Okay. Okay, let's open the, uh, the thing and put the stuff in it. Okay, that is not going to be a full tank. I don't need a full tank. I'm going to take a little bit of a detour here. We're going to go to that seemingly bugged field. See what happens if we turn the line spreader on. Knowing my luck, it'll probably empty. Okay. Whoa. I would 
would say that's not exactly an ideal position for all of that stuff. But, uh, we do have a good number of silos there. Okay. So let's go see if we can... Ooh, sorry. Do anything with this field. Then we'll just go and finish off the line and come back. And we can put this kit away. We've done all the spraying we need to do. We'll have done all the spreading we need to do. Except here, which I don't think it's going to work. My prediction. That is working. Okay. Can, okay, can I do it with the worker? I can do it with the worker. Oh, this is troublesome. picker can't see this field, but the lime spreader can see this field. This is so confusing. Okay, so time scales, delete objects, input, uh, set quality user setting, blah, 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 no, probably this one, add salt, add snow, set snow, Set sunny, random, remove tire tracks, reload weather, reload environment, change the date. Um, field stuff. Field 64. I don't know. What field am I on? 64. Okay. Field stone 64. Minus. Stones are gone. Okay. If that's the only way to do it, that's the only way to do it. That's annoying, but it's fixed. Again, okay, the cab, it's a little bit easier to drive down here. So that field has quite a heavy lime content or pH so I should be able to um, potentially what we have in the tank here could do the entirety of that field just because it's um, already at a good state Obviously, the field we're doing down here hasn't seen lime in like 50 years. And so we are spreading an absolute ton of lime in it. Just to bring the pH levels up. Down. Which way do they go? They go closer to 7. Yes, so up. Up to alkaline, down to uh, acid. I must admit, I did think some crops needed you know, more acidic soil than others. Okay, we are back here. Let us get this turned on and go. Go dry.
So I think once we're done here, I will get the uh, get a worker to do the other field. Well, we spread manure all over the place. Because we haven't done that in like a week. Or maybe I didn't do it on camera. I don't recall. Still. It is what it is. Yeah, you can see we are changing from a sort of a yellow to a very dark green. So the lime is getting used up at a frightening rate. Should turn off now, thank you. Whereas on the other field, it's only increasing a couple of shades of green. Okay, turn through there, and I'll turn around again, I shouldn't turn on for this. How am I doing? Well, I'm down to 8,000, I might need to go shopping for more lines. Actually, we made it into the corner, so that's good. Of course, what I can't say is we are going to have to go and buy some more manure cars. Oh my goodness, have we got a lot of it. I could even hitch up the, uh, the, liquid, the, the liquid manure slurry spreader use that. Oh, so many things. So many things, so many stuffs. Now if I own a BGA, we are not going to make, I don't think we make money, <coughs> on uh, the manure stuff that we deliver to it. We make money on what it produces. So, um, But that will be digestate, which I can put on the fields. And I have a slurry spreader, so that's fine. And um, I think it produces methane and electricity. But potentially we can sell those products and uh, make money that way. So it'll be a delayed sale but frankly um, slurry and um, manure are not very valuable so taking a full truck of like 30,000 litres of manure down to the BGA makes you 700 pounds which annoys me because I've driven all that way and not made any money but I need the money to buy the things we are going to... Oh no, we're not. There's not going to be any more income this year. Unless I do um, the things that make income. Contracts. And of course we're coming into winter so the number of contracts out there is um, not the greatest. Okay, a little bit here. So the reason that corner is a little bit lighter green than the rest is the ground is not the greatest. Um, but everything else is covered now. So I'm going to ship this over to the other field. Well, do I want? We'll ship this over to the other. 2,900 litres is definitely not enough to cover the other field. But it is going to cover quite a bit of it. So it's not too bad, I guess. But I don't... I, yeah. Oh, so much stuff needed. So I'd like a seed. I'd like a roller, but a roller is not required. And I'm guessing that barley field that we bought hasn't been rolled, hasn't been mulched. So 
So. Um, so we'll just say the three fields we've bought this year we're not going to be doing anything serious with. Um, we'll well be selling the soybeans just before the start of harvest. That's the best time to sell them and that hopefully gives us enough money to buy a roller and a mulcher which we will be using into the next year. The, um, we're definitely changing the, the pH here, so that's a good thing. get this lined up at 180 turn it on drive it forward and go go gadget worker and we'll sit with it the worker might turn into that corner in which case we're going to need to help matters or it might turn that way if it turns that way, we'll just jump out and let it go. How fast is that going? That's still going down quite quickly. I'll give it that. And it's going to hate that post. And it is turning right. Okay, let's go find John Deere. Now this thing is going to chew through manure like crazy. We're probably going to need two or three cards for this field and maybe a little bit more for the other one. What I do need to check on is application rate is 9.3 tons per hectare. Aye. doesn't really help my uh, math. However, what we'll be looking at 